morning everybody happy monday today i'm going to read a story called how to make a shark smile how a positive mindset spreads happiness it was ripple's first day in a new aquarium she was excited to make some new friends there's ripple Ripple looked around for someone to play with, but the water was still in quiet. She was looking. She saw electric eels with no zing. The neon fish had no glow. Oh no. And even the seahorses weren't horsing around. All the animals looked scared and unhappy. Ripple saw a blowfish nearby and decided to ask why everyone was so sad. Hello there, she said with a smile on her face. The blowfish began yelling, shark alert, shark alert, and puffed up like a balloon, and Ripple realized the blowfish must think she was the shark. <gasps> he was so scared. Laughing, Ripple swam toward the blowfish and explained, I'm not a shark, I'm a dolphin. My name is Ripple, what's your name? Phew, the blowfish sighed. I'm Bob. I thought you were Snark. Who? Ripple asked. He's the biggest, meanest shark you've ever seen. I've heard he's eaten entire tanks of fish when he wasn't even hungry. Uh oh, that's Snark. Oh, yikes. Is that why everyone is so scared? Ripple paused for a moment and then said, I won't let Shark steal my happiness. Come on, let's play. She's choosing joy. What if Snark sees us? You're not scared because you're big, fast, and smart, but I'm just a bite-sized fish trying to make it in the world. Can you see how little the blowfish is? There's Snark and there's Ripple. Oh my friend, it's not my size or speed that makes me powerful or brave. It's my mindset. I believe that my behavior matters and today I choose to be happy. Bob was confused. How can you choose to be happy? There's Ripple talking to Blowfish Bob. Can I show you how it works in a game? Ripple asked. Okay, Bob agreed but only if Snark doesn't see us playing. Actually, I want you to play the game with Snark, but I'll show you first. A game with Snark, Bob thought. He was confused because he's scared of Snark. He's not very nice. All you have to do is look at my face for seven seconds and try not to smile, okay? Look at that face. That would be a hard game to play. Bob nodded and filled up his body with water to prepare himself. At first, it was easy for him not to smile. Look at him holding in his smile. But then Ripple flashed him a big smile and started to blow bubbles. Bob burst out laughing. Look at them laughing in the water. Aha, you see, Ripple said, happiness is hard to resist. When you see someone else smile, it makes you want to smile too. I call it the ripple effect. When you believe that you can make a difference, you can change the world around you. He's choosing to be happy and our smiles are contagious. That's amazing, Bob said. I've got to try this game out with my other friends. He swam over to the seahorses to try his new trick. Then the seahorses started to teach the neon fish. They were all teaching each other the fun game of smiling. Pretty soon the whole tank was smiling and laughing. How fun. That, that is until Snark appeared. What's all this laughing about? Snark hissed, flashing his sharp teeth, his sharp pointy teeth. The other fish froze in fear. He wasn't happy. They were all laughing and playing. We're playing, Ripple, was said with a smile. Do you want to play too? Snark frowned with disbelief. Sharks can't play. We're born to be mean. Uh-oh. 
you can play. Happiness, it's a state of mind. It's a choice that's up to you, Ripple answered. How about we make a deal? If we can make you smile, we get, we all get to play to our heart's content. If we can't, then everyone in the tank will stop having fun forever. What do you think? Wow, that's a big deal. A murmur spread across the crowd. Snark sneered with confidence and nodded. It's a deal. Ripple winked at Bob and the blowfish nodded. They're ready to play the game with him. <clears throat> okay, Bob explained. All you have to do is look into my eyes for seven seconds. I'll try to get you to smile and we'll see if you can keep a straight face. If you can't, I win. Bob swam up to Snark and looked him in the eyes. He was tempted to run away, but he realized this was his chance to make a difference. Look, he's so little and he's so big and he still was gonna play the game with him. Without a moment to lose, Bob burst into the biggest, <clears throat> cheesiest, happiest grin you have ever seen. <laughs> Look at that, that's the best. At first, Snark was confused by Bob smiling at him. No one ever smiled at sharks. But after a few seconds, he started to feel very comfortable. It felt like a bubble inside him was trying to rise to the surface. Oh no, he's gonna try not to smile. He tried everything to stop it. He squinted his eyes shut, tucked his tail and sucked in his tummy. Look at that, silly. Oh no, I think I might. Suddenly, an explosion of bubbles escaped his mouth. He made an odd sound like a hiccup and a sneeze combined. Surprised, Snark started laughing. Look, the mean shark started to laugh. Snark laughed so hard the entire tank broke out in giggles. Look at everyone laughing. Outside the tank, tourists started to snap pictures and smiles as they watched. A shark, a blowfish, and a dolphin laughing and playing together. This would go down in history books. How awesome. Your smile can make a difference. When Snark finally caught his breath from laughing, he put on his fin to give Bob a high five. How cute. Wow, that was amazing. I guess sharks can have fun if they choose. Ripple's effect on the tank could be felt from that day on. By making a choice to be positive, she spread happiness to others and made it easier for them to choose happiness. She's so awesome. Can you make a shark smile today? All right, everybody, make sure you smile at somebody. Have a great week.